After seven months, the Judgment Dragon has finally arrived. What's up, guys? We are back with another TCG player investment video, which I know we are late because we have the 250K. Then I forgot about it. So, you know, that's a couple of things that happen. But that fits in perfectly with the theme of the post office forgetting about our packages. Today, I got this package and I took a look and I said, tricky ending. I haven't bought anything from him. The last time I did business with him was with the Judgment Dragon that never arrived and also supposedly included some first edition packs inside. Well, here's the package and guess how you know it's the right package. The date is March 8th, 2024. So I, I don't really wanna show his address or anything. Maybe I can just show you guys like this. All right, so if I cover it up like this, you guys can see on my PO address, it's no big deal. Um, because you guys can send stuff there if you guys would like. Uh, it may or may not arrive in seven months, who knows? Um, but here we go, March 8th, 2024. This is the package we were waiting for in the first quarter when I was like getting all my packages that we bought for a thousand dollar investment. And then we were trying to, you know, make sure we had the card, check the conditions. I never got this package. I think this was the backup. Was this the backup? Because if you guys remember, our first purchase on TCG Player was like in damaged condition. The guy had a replacement and was also in heavy play condition. So then Tricky Ending was like, don't worry, dude, I got you. He hooked us up at like a hundred bucks for the card, which was a great deal at the time. It gets had a reprint since then, so it's probably down. Uh, who could have seen Light of Destruction reprint coming? Uh, we should have, because if we invested invested in it, they're gonna reprint it. We should just know that at this point. Then it just gets lost. So I don't even know, this is insane. So we're gonna open this thing up. Let's get the card out, let's get the packs out. We also will be checking on, uh, every, of course, everything else as well, but let's open this up. I can't believe we've gotten a package seven months later. This is pretty insane. I once had a friend get a package three years later. That's, I mean, that's a record still, but this is still probably my latest package. I think it's kind of like when Leonhardt lost his, his Charizard for like five or six months. That was a little bit more expensive though. So let's get the goods out. Let's check the card. Watch it just be like damage condition. He was like, he's like, actually, yeah, I, it turns out I sent you a damage card. Uh, I highly doubt it with tricky ending, but let's see. Uh, oh, it's typed on the other sides. Okay, so we gotta be a little careful here. Just barely cut this tape. All right, okay, there we go. We have 99 per, oh, these were heavy, that's right. He sent a heavy booster pack, and then here's the first edge AD. This was the number one card I was most excited about in our investment because I just like the card. I think it's really cool, I don't own it. I was like, look, if it goes down, who cares? Because I'll at least have the card now, you know? So it was kind of like a win-win except for if it gets lost. That was kind of like the win-win loss there, you know, the third option you weren't thinking of. So let's check out the card. I'm sure it's gonna be in great condition, especially compared to the ones we've seen before. Beautiful, I these are the same sleeves that I got. I once got this giant collection and it had double sleeves just like this. So that's kind of interesting. That was like four years ago. Let's see about this card. Judgment Dragon, secret rare, front looks absolutely great back looks pretty good i mean like there's like a little scuff and then like some print lines but this is not something i would ever uh gripe about when it comes to a near mint card especially like for the price we got it at 100 bucks i mean that is definitely near mint like if you're looking for mint sure then maybe that wouldn't be on there a lot of people make the mistake of oh yeah near mint and mint being the same they're not mint is mint mint is amazing mint's like psa 910 this card's near mint seven to eight something like that really really great shape Tricky ending, seven months later. First of all, I don't remember if, if I re, I think I tried to refund, I feel like you wouldn't let me refund him or something. I don't remember what happened with that, but it either, or get refunded, I told him not to. I don't, I think he sent it anyway, so I'm gonna have to actually pay him again. Uh, I'll have to double check with that, but we'll make sure that it all works out. But uh, he's been, he was super chill, even though it got lost. So this is supposed to be heavy. We're gonna open this up for the video because you know, we gotta do it. Then we're gonna check in on all the other prices, see we, how we're doing, so. Here we go, heavy pack. If this has a gosher in it, I mean, <laughs> he sent this for free, by the way, so <laughs> he's a madman. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we get something great. It'd be really fun. One, two, three. I think it's flippity flop on the first head, but it could, ah, I'm not sure. Let's just go for it. Okay, one pack, not necessarily an opening video, but we are gonna open one pack. We have Relinquished Spider, Regulus, first edition gosher in here is like 750 bucks or something near mint, so really big. Uh, Art Sword Christia, we have pulled once before, got damaged, so kind of would fit the theme. Inherited Fortune. Okay, it looks like a foil. Fortune's Future, I feel like I've pulled this out of first edition Stardust Overdrive many, many times. So it is a super rare, not a crazy card. It was heavy, so that's correct. All right, 
Let's get to the prices. I'm very happy we finally got our Judgment Dragon. All right, guys, let's check in on our prices. And uh, I went ahead and did 2022 and 2023 ahead of time because there are so many prices. So we're gonna do a quick overview of 2022. One thing I wanna note is one card made money. The Evil Hero, a Dusty Gold, for the first time since we bought it, has actually gone up in price. It is now worth 3% more than it was worth back when we bought it in year one. It is now $13.40. We bought it for $12.99 but including you know shipping and tax and all that we're still losing money but it did go up everything else is brutally low check this out 80 percent 60 percent 55 72 we got destroyed year one so this is the third year of year one let's just move past that not much to see there now 2023 on the other hand has some big wins so we're, we're gonna skip through rose dark arm dragon you know nothing crazy oh my goodness is that a 155 dollar increase in price on colossal fighter ultimate rares this has kind of been our winner for a long time and it is now spiked up even more thanks to edison format so i have officially posted this for sale on tcg player so we can potentially sell it because Oh my goodness, this card has spiked massively, 177% from what we paid. We paid $88 at the beginning of 2023. It's now worth $243.94. So that one is available for sale. So hopefully we will sell that, lock it in at the price. Then we have an Ally of Justice. This thing is similarly, similarly, similarly gone up. It was $70 when we bought it. It's now $190, 171% increase, $120 increase overall. Put that one up for sale as well, because these two, if we can sell at that price, we're gonna be super happy, more than doubling our money. As for the rest of everything, we lost a little bit of money here. That one we locked in, uh, the Trap Chick Trap Old Nightmares. Two Blackluster Soldiers actually gone up a little bit. We've lost a lot of money on the Insta Fusion. I knew that when we bought it. Twitch chat, you picked that. Then we lost more money on a bunch of these cards. We're not gonna go through every single one because yeah, it just takes a long time because there's a lot of cards for three different years. Uh, Fiber Jar, you guys remember what happened with that, with the Star. We had a bunch of others. We lost on 98 bucks at Gate Guardian. That was a terrible decision. We made 23 bucks on the Battle Fader. That one spiked up at one point. We tried to sell it. It was just kind of like a buyout kind of thing. Could be the case with the Edison cards as well, but we'll see. Overall, though, we have still made money on 2023 thanks to those. If we can sell those and lock those in, we might be able to make money no matter what happens to the rest of the cards. So it's looking pretty good on 2023. I mean, actually being up on our 1,000 to 1,111% increase in one year is well two years basically not too bad because you know we're not losing money is really what's not bad not that it actually increased now for year three we are going to go through these one at a time so we have mystical space typhoon uh that is from haunted mind so uh we're just gonna see one at a time what we have all right so we are down a couple bucks 16 percent. nothing too crazy not a lot to say about that one. I mean, it's the gold ghost rare. It's, it hasn't really done much. It's kind of staying around the same price. Let's check out the Ecclesia Ultimate Rares. Uh, they have not done great so far, uh, but maybe they can turn that around right here. We have an Ultimate Rare. E656. That's not feeling too good. Uh, we have lost 53% of our money on that one. That is not looking great. So... 2024 off to a weird start. Nekagal, okay, yeah, uh, we probably shouldn't let uh, the chat pick uh, pick what we're gonna invest in next time, should we? <laughs> Nekagal, every time I see this, I'm like, this was a bad decision. So for Near Mint, it is $1.69. This is at least a tournament pack card, so there's that, but uh, it's not that great. $1.69, we have about 10 of those. We are down 43%. Let's go back to the Rafflesia. Hopefully the Trap Tricks can uh, turn this thing around. Rafflesia, how do you spell those? Okay, Trap Tricks have done good for us before. Hey, this thing looks like it went up recently. 2310. What did we pay? Oh, it did go up a little bit. Very nice. So we we're up five dollars. Not not worth moving the card right now, but it is actually up. So that's good to see. LB 25th box. Uh, those are still doing pretty well from what I remember. Because we did get to buy these pretty early, and they were like, I think they're like 80 bucks or something. So 150 is the low right now. That's that is extra shipping, but that's actually, that's unverified. So verified is $154.99 actually with that shipping. It is crazy how expensive these are. These are up 74%, $66 since the beginning of the year. Should have bought a lot more cases of that to be honest. That should have been our whole $1,000 to be honest. All right, now we have Little D. That's definitely gonna be going up. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe the meme card can hold it together. We'll have to see. Little D, oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Wait a second, I'll, well, no, verified, $14.95. Look at Little D. Look at little D making a move. Holy crap. And there's hardly any on the market. There's only five, six, seven, eight of them total. Eight total little Ds. $14.95. What'd we pay? We have three of them. Whoa. Oh my goodness. We paid $5. It actually might be time to sell little D. I'm not going to lie. 
It might be time to sell. I mean, $14 for a common. I think we're going to put those up for sale. All right, I take it back. I think chat was right. We should have invested in little D that we should have bought more. Crazy thing, though, is we finally have our Judgment Dragon, which we paid 180. We actually ended up paying 100 for it. We got it. We got a, you know, a sweet deal thanks to a tricky ending. But uh, we're, we're doing it off of our original payment. But it's going to be probably pretty brutal on that because we've had an LODT full set reprint since then, which is Pretty rough when it comes to value, but let's see what the first debt's still going for. 165.74, so that actually didn't impact it too much. We only lost 8%, and then if you want to look at it, what we actually paid was 100 bucks. I did check, he did refund me, so I repaid him, so he got his $100 back. But uh, wow, that, that, what, a, what a ride we have had with Judgment Dragon. It's been insane, but hey, I feel good about having a first debt LODT Judgment Dragon now. That's really, really cool. All right, as for Zushin, not feeling good, too good about the Zushin being expensive. All right, what are you, 12 cents? Yeah, okay, so uh, 23 of these. So we have 23 times 12. Then we have 39 times 12. Then we have seven times 12, because we had to buy them at a different prices, I think. So, okay, so overall, we're getting destroyed on those. They were super cheap, though. I mean, they were all 25 cents or less, so not a huge deal. Mirage Nightmare, I'm next. Mirage, I don't remember why we bought this. Somebody wanted to buy this for some reason. I'm trying to remember what the reason was. I mean, this is not even legal in GOAT, I don't think. So I don't know what the thought process was because we're getting killed on it. 164, we paid like eight something. So we are down 80% on that one. Okay, Destroy Phoenix and Force of Seeker Rare. All right, let's, let's turn this thing around. Okay, it was Burst of Destiny. So the Burst of Destiny secret, uh, Destroyer Phoenix, what? How are you doing in terms of price? The OG print of this card is 720. We only paid three bucks. Oh, wait, this might've been a good choice. Okay, we're up, uh, I put this on the wrong one. Oh wait, there weren't three of them. Why do I think there were three of them? Okay, there was only one, but we are up 122%. I mean, it's only four bucks in the grand scheme of things, but it is up a decent amount. We could sell that, but I feel like that one does have potential to go up a little bit higher. Uh, in the future so we'll hold on to that one now let's check the heavy storm unlimited very interesting i guess we were hoping it would get unbanned an unlimited heavy storm it probably would have gone up a decent amount if we did okay this one is whoa nine bucks that seems high yeah it was only five bucks that's up as well okay we we're off to a decent start today let's go to brilliant fusion we have six of these in ultimate i think we were hoping that maybe one day i mean everything's getting unbanned at some point right that's what it seems like so we were kind of hoping for that uh, near mid fifty three ninety nine. I think that's what we paid, right? Did I miss something? Did it? Did this get unbanned? And I, why is this so much? The bandless master. I should know this, but we only paid twenty four a pop. We they're fifty three ninety nine. It is time to list these. Wow, that's shocking. Okay, so I had to like double check and everything to make sure we had the right. Yeah, we did buy the ulti. We bought six of them. I'm mean, at 25 bucks for an OTS ulti and it has potential to be like, you know, come off the ban list or whatever. That was kind of a nice stock because like, or stonk you could say, because like, you know, it's like, it only goes so much lower as an ulti. Maybe like 10 bucks is like the lowest it can go. But if it gets unbanned, like may or may not have happened. I don't know what's happening with it. It's $53 now, a pop which is 116% increase. Yeah, so there's a lot of potential there. So, wow, that is really, really cool to see that we have actually popped off a little bit on this. This is like the best one we've had in a long time. It all started with the Judgment Dragon coming back. It was just a sign of things to come. All right, we have a Draco Sack Secret Rare. Let's see what it, Draco Sack. This was the Lord of Tachyon Galaxy print, I believe, first edition. So that is, oh wait, near mint, what is this? Whoa, 36, that's definitely higher. $18, $36.69. Oh my goodness. What? Okay, whoa. I think we might list that one too. That's double it. That's double our money. That's really solid. That is insane, actually. Wow. I can't believe how good these cards are doing. All right, Baron to floor, you got banned. So yeah, you, you're you kind of screwed. But once you come unbanned, we got a chance. I mean, it'll happen eventually. It's, it's a great card, but it's not like it's that crazy. So eventually that's going to get brought back. And right now it's 25 cents. We didn't pay too much more. We played 99 cents. So yeah, we, we're going to get killed a little bit, but long term, we can hold on to these. We'll do fine on the Barons, I think, eventually. Lynn of the Light Charmer. This was probably a mistake, buying a Starlight Rare. I keep looking at the seller, uh, the seller one instead by accident. But let's see. 
So you can see that. Let's get back to the real version. Okay, Linda the Light Charmer, 185.90. That's killing into our profits. Killing in, are cutting into them big time. Oh, that's brutal. That is brutal. That's like half. We paid 317, so we're 41% down. Dean Girsu QCR. Let's see about some of these. We bought some rarity stuff. I mean, we already went through some of it, but let's check out this QCR. Are any of these rarity QCRs doing okay? 10, 1050 is not great. Yeah, that's not amazing. Okay, Lava Golem QCR. We bought a few of these. Can you be doing anything for us, Lava Golem? Oh, wait. You might 1920? We paid $20 a piece? Oh my gosh. Ouch. I thought we made money there, but I guess they were expensive immediately. Okay. All right. Evenly matched. Let's check on the evenly matched. I was getting hopeful there. It hasn't actually lost much there, but okay. You are evenly matched. Uh, 74 cents. We lost a cent. We lost a cent right there. Wait. Oh, there's two of them. That's right. Okay. So we lost two cents. We lost 1%, 2 cents. Lightning Storm Ultra isn't... Yeah, that's... I mean, that's... <laughs> Probably not doing too great, but you never know. Why? Oh, dollar forty-seven. Wait. Oh, wait a second. We made a little bit of money on our lightning storms. Not worth shipping for a stamp, but you know it's it's going up fifty fifty percent. I'll take that. Now reasoning prismatic. I don't. I guess this was a goat. It was that the was that the reasoning behind it. Ah, uh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. Forty nine cents. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, but but we are actually up. 85 bucks with our big purchase, the Starlight doing terrible and Judgment Dragon also being down. Actually pretty surprising. So between, so we lost, we get, or we made about 85 bucks in year three. We made over a hundred bucks in year two. You go back to year one, that's where it all falls apart because, okay, we need to mess this up. But yeah, once you go back to year one, it all falls apart. We're down 52%. I mean, we have, are down over $500 from that. I mean, this was a... We made terrible, terrible decisions. It was our first time. So what do you expect? Didn't go well, but year two and year three have both been better. I also took any, uh, you guys' opinion on Twitch, and I think a lot of you guys' suggestions are really good, like the Brilliant Fusion. That was you guys. Um, some of them were meme and stuff, but weirdly, Little D is really expensive. So honestly, if Lina can like bounce back up to like even close to what we paid, then... You know, we're at like plus $200 at this point, which is really, really good. So really exciting to see that our Judgment Dragon arrives seven months late, which is really exciting. So overall, a really exciting episode. I know we are late. We're like three weeks late and we were supposed to do this. We will check back in at the end of the year to see how everything's doing. I'll let you guys know if stuff sells at that point. Hopefully it will sell on TCG Player very soon and we can make some money and like lock in some profits that we won't be getting like $500 losses like year one. Um, but overall, if you like the series, let me know down below and you want to see more uh, next year. I want to do it again next year and I want to be super intentional about selling like when we hit like the right prices because I think we could actually... If we are paying attention to the market, we could actually make money on all the cards at the right time, or at least a lot of the cards. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next. Oh, yeah. If you want to see the other parts, check out the playlist. Check out rocks 34com if you guys haven't already to support the channel. See you guys next time. Shout out to Tom Fosho, Ernesto Diana, America Doyster, Brandon Cheney, Hextic, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.